Hey guys, um, this is a short video on Andrew Cohen. If you're not familiar with Andrew Cohen, he is the creator of Enlighten Next magazine, uh, a evolutionary magazine. This is all about how human beings are now capable of consciously acting and par participating in evolution, but however, it's not just about controlling evolution, it's understanding the underlying force behind evolution, which is, I don't know, God or the ultimate reality or enlightenment. Uh, other words, in other words, enlighten next. So the idea as a whole sounds pretty cool, and it's um, it's not his alone. It's many people's. Um, but I just figured I'd check out this guru. Um, I don't know if he calls himself a guru or if people call him a guru. Maybe both. Um, while I agree with some of his teaching, I do have to disagree. Uh, in the way he presents some of the some of the work, I don't know about you guys, and I want to get your opinion. What do you think of Andrew Cohen's teaching method, and do you think his own ego ironically gets in the way of his teaching? Because um, my first impression was com complete turnoff uh, from his from his work. Uh, I was I was listening to one of his videos, and he was very assertive um, with the questioner. And at first it wasn't too bad. He seems to have a very quick intellectual mind. But then it begins to get very controlling. And he begins to ask the question, uh, ask the student right, correct? And, and I, I know just to a superficial degree people do that in conversation to acknowledge understanding. But everything about him was just screaming manipulative. And I don't, I, I was not comfortable with that. So as much as I think I agree with uh, Enlighten Next, you know, desire to help people and to help spread and recognize, you know, spiritual realities um, or whatnot, I, I don't think he's a good dude. I don't know, I just get a bad feeling from him. Um, I don't know, do you guys share that sentiment or is it just me? I, I usually don't have that kind of problem with spiritual teachers. I usually find them to be... Uh, soft and open and receptive not perfect you know definitely imperfect but definitely more soft and, and, and able to work with their students you know trial to trial if there's a mistake they learn from it they just seem very generous and warm-hearted I didn't get that from Cohen now I mentioned all this stuff because he uh, recently there was an, a blog about questioning his spiritual teachings from Open Enlightenment. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with Open Enlightenment. It's a pretty cool blog. Um, it basically takes the idea of people who have enlightenment experiences. Well, what if they just blogged about it? What, what if they didn't do all this, uh, you know, going, going on uh, self-help shows and writing these nice books in the New Age section? What, what if they just, you know, went online and blogged about it and talked about it and wrote ebooks? Well, open enlightenment, it's sort of like that, and I really am uh, interested in, in, in that. But it's a relatively new, I think, um, blog, so we'll see how that goes. But um, he strongly critiqued and Andrew Cohen, just saying he relies too much on the impersonal, he's been manipulated as a guru, etc., etc., and, and uh, I don't have enough experience with, with Cohen and, and Enlightened Next, but uh, the impression that I got was he definitely is a little manipulative, uh, to his students in the way he teaches. He doesn't doesn't seem like he tries to bring it out in them. He tries to just shove down the ideas into people's throats until they get it. And I don't think that's a good way to, to go about teaching at all. Um, it's too too aggressive. You don't win someone over by doing that. Uh, you win someone over. You don't win them over. I mean, take the concept of Mushin in martial arts. Even in the most combative moments, you learn to work with your opponent because your opponent and you are one, and that, that sort of idea of no minding, um, it doesn't seem present in his work. But his magazine, interestingly enough, calls for, you know, evolutionaries. But then I'm also questioning, well, okay, revolutionaries, isn't everything an evolutionary? Isn't, isn't the nature of the universe to be, or to, to be in a state of evolution, in a state of flux? It might be make more sense to say we're, we're conscious evolutionaries, um, but I don't know. It, that that might make more spiritual sense, 
and I think it's very related to what he's saying. But um, I'm not really here to, to, to pry down his, his own ways of teaching. Uh, I was just curious what, what people thought of his, his style, um, if it's authentic, if it's ultimately helpful for people, or if it's a little bit detrimental. Um, and if it's reliance on the impersonal reality of God, and, and uh, yeah, I, yeah, that's a good way to put it, and the uh, downplaying the ego, I don't know, is that is that a good thing? Uh, I think the ego is a part of our development. Um, any kind of teaching, I hope, would be more spiritually embracive, but only but only rough when it really needs to be. Um, only when you really need some, to give somebody a good wake-up call, you know, good slap on the head. But until then, I mean, you can't beat up a flower to make it grow, you know. So I'm just wondering if that's a good way to help humans blossom. But my last question to you, you guys, is what do you think of the idea that we are going into a more evolutionary society, an evolutionary consciousness that is permeating us? Um, does that even make sense? What does that even mean? Uh, to me, it, to me, I think it's important to distinguish that this ultimate reality or this greater reality or spirit or God or Brahman, that's something that's always been existent and it's, and it's always been the case. Um, we're just waking up more and more to that as we continue to evolve. Is that saying the same thing Cohen says? I don't know. At any rate, um, I thought I would share this before I uh, finish making videos for tonight. Maybe I'll make a few tomorrow. I've been reading a lot lately, so um, I got lots to share. And um, thanks for listening.